Thank you for either being a part of our delivery team or for our retail partners for assembling our product in the home of a customer. The following video will show you the steps necessary to successfully deliver and assemble the Ergo Pro Smart powered by Sleep Tracker AI adjustable base. Always read all instructions before beginning installation. To properly lift an item from a lower location, workers should move the object close to their body and lift with their legs as a safety technique. OSHA recommends that workers should keep their bodies straight and avoid any awkward twisting while lifting heavy objects. Once you arrive at the customer's home, bring the base to the room where the base will be assembled. Place the bed base box in a desired location with the bottom of the box facing up. To avoid damage, always open the carton while the base is in a flat position. Cut the tape at the corners of the box. Remove the binding straps and packing materials, making sure not to puncture the box with any sharp objects. Remove the bed base from the box. Carefully open the plastic to gain access for inspection using the included checklist. Remove and dispose of all cardboard and plastic wrap. Unfold the bed making sure to keep the bottom of the bed facing upwards. Remove all accessories and interior packaging and identify items included in the parts list. Remove the parts from the parts box and remove the retainer bar. Set these aside. Check to make sure that all of the parts are included. The desiccant bags may be removed and discarded. Legs are shipped fully assembled. To install the legs, check to make sure all the segments are assembled together tightly. Alternative heights in 3 inch increments can be achieved by removing leg segments from the top of the leg accessory. Thread the leg into the frame and tighten by hand. Do not over tighten. It is recommended to leave the battery backup strap attached to the power supply for use when needed. Two 9 volt batteries, which are not included, will be required for its use. Uncoil the input cable connected to the control box's power port and plug into the power supply. Uncoil the power cord and connect to the power supply. Place the power supply on the ground and extend from the base. Ensure the power supply and all attached cords are directed towards the desired surge protector. The power cable should be routed properly and not directed through anything that may cause it to bind or snag. Nothing should be resting on the power cable. Carefully flip the base over onto its legs. It is very important that two people are used to flip and move the bed base. Do not drag it across the floor. While flipping, please do not rest the base on its side where it is partially resting on the legs. Excessive pressure may damage the legs. Avoid placing hands and fingers near the lumbar area as the lumbar mechanism may slide in and out as the base is flipped. Plug the power cord into a power source. A surge protector is recommended but not provided. Confirm that the LED on the black Temper Sleep Tracker AI processor is blinking green. This may take up to 90 seconds after connecting power to the base. This indicates that the processor is powered up and ready to connect to a Wi-Fi network. To install the mattress retainer bar, insert each end of the bar into the holes at the foot of the platform. Ensure the batteries are correctly installed in the remote. Quickly test remote functions to verify proper setup. Move the head of the base to its full upright position. Return the base to a flat position before placing the mattress on the base. If requested by the customer, Turn off the badge LED light by pressing and holding the under bed light button on the remote control for three seconds. Briefly demonstrate other remote features including the child lock. Press and hold lock for three seconds to lock. 
Press and hold lock and light for three seconds to unlock. Raise and lower lumbar. Press and hold the mode button for three seconds to cycle through the various modes. An audio cue will indicate which mode you are in. Massage mode. Sound mode. If the remote buttons do not impact the adjustable base movement, please repeat the process again or call customer service. Setup is now complete. Thanks for watching. In the event that the remote is not paired with the base, remove the rear cover of the remote control by sliding it down to expose the pair button. Unplug the power cord from your power outlet. Wait one minute, then plug it back into your power outlet. The soundbar will provide the verbal cue Bluetooth mode to indicate it is ready for pairing. Perform step two within 10 seconds while the control box light is flashing. Press and hold the pair button on the back of the remote. The pair button will illuminate and start to flash. When the pair button stops flashing, the LED light on the control box will stop flashing. The soundbar will provide the verbal cue Base connected to indicate the remote has been paired successfully to the control box. Release the pair button. Setup is now complete. Test all functions on the remote.